Hello, Columbia, and welcome to City View, where we bring you an inside view of the city of Columbia. I'm your host, Felicia Yutzi. In the top story for City View, we join our Go Red Day Party, which was hosted by Councilwoman Tamika Isaac Devine. National Wear Red Day is an annual observance in honor of Heart Health Month and trying to focus more on heart disease, especially among women in our country. Go Red Columbia is the City of Columbia's partnership with the American Heart Association and we every first Friday of February is National Wear Red Day and so we use this as an opportunity to uh, bring awareness around heart disease, particularly heart disease in women uh, because heart disease is the number one killer of women in this country and here in South Carolina, here in the City of Columbia, we you know certainly are no different than anywhere else where the statistics are really high. The Columbia Police Department recently held their annual Columbia Police Department annual awards ceremony to recognize CPD officers and staff. Another very important announcement from our law enforcement community was recently made by Police Chief William Skip Holbrook along with law enforcement officials from various agencies. A new hotline is now available for citizens to assist with public safety. If they called that tip line, uh, that they would be asked certain information, describe the individual, you know, does that person have a, a firearm? Uh, but usually in those types of cases, if that were to lead to uh, the recovery of a firearm or a prosecution, we generally start uh, as low as $1,000 up to $10,000. And now we move to an announcement from our fire officials. Fire Chief Aubrey D. Jenkins, along with Councilman Will Brennan and other officials from Richland County, recently attended a push-in ceremony for Fire Engine 8. Recently, the North Columbia Business Association hosted a breakfast event with featured speaker, our very own City Manager, Teresa Wilson. Uh, North Columbia and the leadership with their business association is is exceptional and they always make a point each year to create an opportunity um, for this type of kind of personal conversation where I can hear from um, the business owners more directly on any concerns, suggestions they might have um, for the growth of our city as a whole, but particularly for um, the area in the Noma Business District. And speaking of North Columbia, another highlight was the recent grand opening of a Peace of Soul vegan restaurant on North Main. This event was coordinated by the Office of Business Opportunities along with this small business owner. The Office of Business Opportunities has also been very busy coordinating and co-sponsoring a workshop, the Ultimate Capital Workshop that was recently held at the Columbia Metropolitan Convention Center. Mayor Pro Tem Edward McDowell recently greeted those who attended this workshop. How do we gain access to resources infrastructurally that's going to undergird businesses uh, and persons who are intending to go into business? This workshop is allowing folk to look at the various resources for capital. We're always excited when our council members are featured and are engaged in our community. Recently, Councilman Will Brennan was the Grand Marshal for the 10th Annual Mardi Gras Parade and Festival. The City of Columbia is always open and welcoming to visitors, and we especially feel that way at City Hall. Councilwoman Tamika Isaac Devine recently greeted and spoke to a visiting group from Copenhagen. It's interesting to hear how folks from another country look at our country, look at our politics, and how the things that are so prevalent in our politics, um, uh, how they view it and how sometimes it's hard for them to kind of understand where we are because they haven't had those same experiences. Well, that wraps up this edition of City View. We're glad that you're viewing us here on City TV or on our city's YouTube channel, as well as other outlets. Please continue to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and also visit our website at ColumbiaSC.gov for more information. Hey there, Mayor Steve Benjamin here. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you give it a like right below the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, while you're here, be sure to check out one of our other videos or follow on our social media platforms. 
Thanks again. And remember, we are Columbia.